What's up, fellow collectors? Guys, nice. welcome back to the MIB Master Toy Museum. Guys, I got the coffee on. Hanging out here in the museum. We have another fantastic show for you today. You know what time it is, guys. It's coffee time with MIB. And guys, we got a hot topic uh, of discussion for you today. And this one I have put a ton of thought into. A ton of thought, guys. Today's discussion is about Target. The misunderstanding of Target. The Target misunderstanding. I know some of you guys out there scratching your head right now. What is MIB talking about? We know all about Target. We know all about the damaged cards, the damaged boxes. The figures not being in the stores. We know all about Target. Guys, I'm here to tell you that we misunderstood Target. We got it wrong. All of the negative uh, publicity that Target has received in nearly a year, it's almost a year to the date that Migo returned it's, it's nearing that, that day. It's almost a year since we've had Mego figures back on the shelves. Guys, we got it all wrong. It's not Target's fault. Sure, Target mishandled a few things. Sure, some of Target's employees really didn't have a clue to what Migos really were. But guys, we can't blame Target as a whole for a few bad setbacks. Not for a few bad setbacks. Which in our minds seemed like many bad setbacks. But it wasn't Target. No, guys, because if it if it was not for Target, we wouldn't have Mego figures. That's not coming from me. Um, that's coming from the head people at Mego. We just needed something to divert our frustration at. And Target, uh, no pun intended, made a good Target. Guys, we got it wrong. Um, this whole Target situation has been one big misunderstanding. One big misunderstanding. And and, and guys, I, I'm included. I, I was just as guilty uh, because I was just as passionate about Mego. But we can't separate one without having the other. 
We can't punish Target. Because we need Migo and vice versa. Guys, Target is not going anywhere. Um, they've signed back on to do more exclusives. Bigger and better exclusives. We're looking at our 2019 San Diego Comic Con debut of the, the Black Knight Detective. I call him the, the Michael Keaton 1989 Batman version, 14 inch Batman. The Green Shirt Kirk. The Flash, just to name a few. Guys, we got it all wrong. Um, you know, there's been a lot of videos out there talking about Target and bad mouthing Target and uh, throwing Target under the bus, accusing Target of being a poor retailer. When in fact, if it was not for Target, we wouldn't have Mego figures. Somebody had to take that leap with Mego. And Target took that leap. And because Target took that leap, we have other retail stores now that have joined in and carrying our beloved Mego figures. But with any coffee time episode, we always want your thoughts and your opinions on this topic of discussion. How do you feel about Target still being a part of Mego? What's your personal feelings about Target? We want to know all of that. Do you agree with me? Yes, no, maybe, kind of. But we want to know, guys. We, we, we want to know how you feel about Target. And have your frustration, has it subsided yet with Target? It's been nearly a year. We're nearly a year removed from a lot of the frustration of not being able to find certain figures of not being able to get uh, target employees to understand that Migo is pronounced Migo and not me go. But that's all fine. As crazy as this might sound, guys, I have truly enjoyed the ride. chasing some of these figures for months. Staying up late to see if I could catch one of these figures on Target's website. And the pure joy and elation of being able to add to cart a Frankenstein figure on the Target's website is priceless. Guys, you have to admit, it has been a lot of fun. It's been frustrating, but it's been a lot of fun, guys. And I think this, this our whole coffee time here is we're just relaxing in, in our museum 
enjoying our coffee. Our whole idea of this video is not to point the blame any longer at Target. Because there's simply no blame to go around. These were two companies, Migo and Target, joining in a partnership to bring us a childhood toy that we connected with nearly 40 years ago. No more Target bashing, guys. No more Target jokes. We're all guilty of it because we, we are all in love with Migo. But we can't attack a company that's connected to the very company that we love so much. Target aided and assisted us with bringing back our most prized toy company, the Mego Corporation. And it took a long time, guys, for me to, to kind of come to grips with understanding that I, I, I couldn't separate the two. You can't separate the two, guys. You just can't separate the two. You cannot have one without the other. And we talked about that in a, in a, in a few other uh, episodes here at the museum. The bashing and trashing of Target is unacceptable. Guys, you have to take a, a step back and look at the whole picture. We have to take a step back and look at how truly blessed and grateful we should be to have Target keeping these figures in the store, marking the prices down. Bringing us more exclusives. Have the packing and packaging of some of our figures been, well, less than stellar? Yes, but guys, for every one bad package story, I could share 15 or 20 great target packaging stories with you. Uh, my two um, San Diego Comic Con uh, Batmans came in fantastic condition. I've done videos where... Uh, the size of this box right here, one figure was packed in it with tons of bubble plastic. <laughs> Overkill? Sure. But they were packed beautifully. That one figure was in amazing condition. Your thoughts, guys. Have we bashed Target enough? Has Target suffered enough from our wrath 
of thousands and thousands and thousands of Migo collectors around the world. These are the topics and these are the, the comments we want to read in the comment section right underneath this video, guys. Your thoughts, guys. Your opinions. You know the routine. God bless. And keep collecting.